What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys being here. In today's video, I'll be discussing the top five things that absolutely need to return for Mortal Kombat 12, if we're getting a Mortal Kombat 12. And fingers crossed, guys, that we're getting an announcement this Thursday. Oof, that would be absolutely ridiculous. It's so cool to see the whole community kind of blowing up and talking about the Game Awards and supposedly that we're gonna be getting an announcement. So fingers crossed, guys. But let's go over the top five things that absolutely needs to happen in Mortal Kombat 12. Let's do this. Coming in at number five is sprinting. Now this was a key feature that I absolutely loved in Mortal Kombat X, in Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and Mortal Kombat Trilogy. I absolutely loved the sprint feature. I believe that it has to make a return in Mortal Kombat 12. I was really disappointed in the fact that we did not get into Mortal Kombat 11, besides the fact that the whole game itself in Mortal Kombat 11 was much more slowed it down than MKX. It was a shame to see not only were the pop-ups taken out, but also the sprinting. So I think sprinting and i guess we can even put pop-ups so sprinting slash pop-ups they need to make it every time every time there goes my light there goes my light <laughs> oh my gosh I, I really gotta fix my light i gotta get a new ring light or some new light because this one is broken and it keeps falling off so hopefully santa brings me a new light this christmas but i guess i'll make this sprinting slash pop-ups because those are two important features that absolutely need to make a return to mortal kombat 12's gameplay coming in at number four is movie costumes and old game skins i'm talking about mortal kombat 1 mortal kombat 2 mortal kombat 3 mortal kombat 4 every single game skin i think each character should have at least at least two skins from the previous games and if this is supposed to be the big 30 year anniversary mortal kombat game i think it's safe to say that netherum studios should provide us with at least two skins for each character and their classic look that would be so awesome to see in mortal kombat 11 we didn't get to see scorpion's classic skin that we saw in the trailer yes we saw those mortal kombat 3 skins in mortal kombat x However, they did not transfer over to Mortal Kombat 11. And I would absolutely love to see some Deception Scorpion or Deadly Alliance Scorpion or even Melina's Deception skin. I believe that each character should definitely have at least two classic skins in Mortal Kombat 12. And don't get me started on the movie skins. They did a phenomenal job incorporating that in Mortal Kombat 11. They need to transfer that over to Mortal Kombat 12 and incorporate that with every single character. Coming in at number three are 3D era characters. We definitely need 3D era characters and characters we haven't seen in a very long time. I'm talking about from Mortal Kombat 9. Talking about you, Striker. I thought we were going to get him in Mortal Kombat 11, but I guess not. I guess we got to save him for Mortal Kombat 12. We definitely need 3D era characters to make a return. I'm talking Havoc, Li Mei, Natara, Serena, Onaga, you name it. All those 3D era characters that we didn't get to see, even Shujinko himself, need to make a return in Mortal Kombat 12. Now, I'm not saying every 3D era character because there's a lot of them that definitely do not deserve to make an appearance. I'm looking at you mocap but there are a lot of 3d era characters that definitely should deserve a spot in mortal kombat 12. at number two and this is a big one for me is classic soundtracks i definitely believe that a jukebox should be incorporated into mortal kombat 12 settings imagine loading the game and you get to hear mortal kombat 1's intro imagine playing the game or hearing mortal kombat 2 or even mortal kombat 3 to mortal kombat trilogy's character select theme song. That would be totally awesome to hear. So I believe that Mortal Kombat 12 for their 30th year anniversary should definitely consider incorporating old soundtracks into Mortal Kombat 12. And before we get into number one, I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. It really means a lot to see the channel grow so much and make a lot of friends by creating this channel. It definitely means a lot. And if you're new, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys aren't new, you guys already know what to do. Hit that like, leave a comment, and don't forget to follow me on the Instagram page at the Island Boys. So without Without further ado, let's get into our number one spot. And finally, coming in at number one is the breakaway system. All right, guys, this one was a huge flaw in Mortal Kombat 11. I absolutely hated the breakaway system in Mortal Kombat 11. You can get punished for breaking away, and that is not fair whatsoever. So we definitely need to revert back to Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat X days for the breaker system, where we go back to neutral or where they push the character to the other side of the screen. We definitely need that breaking system back. I do not like Mortal Kombat 11's breakaway whatsoever. It was garbage. But let me know in the comment section below, what are your guys' thoughts? What would you love to see make an appearance in Mortal Kombat 12? And what would you not like to see happen in Mortal Kombat 12? Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Shoots!